It is fucking bright as fuck. The fuck? Gotta spam this bitch. Her name me. Ha. See all my bitches is bad. I'm not. What's going on, y'all? It's natural, and I asked you guys on Twitter to send me your questions so I could give you guys some advice. But before I get into that, like I always tell people, never get advice from just one person unless that person is Jesus. Because then if you ask him and you go with someone else's advice and it backfires, he's just going to be like, I told you. Like, I'm Jesus, dog. I told you. But since I'm only human, I thought I would bring along a friend of mine so you guys can get, you know, two separate opinions here, both sides of the coin. You know, so I got my boy, Travi Bass, with me. With that said, let's get into it. For me, it's music. Some people, when they're feeling down, like to listen to like inspirational music and motivational music to, to get themselves out of that zone. Other people like to listen to depressing music just so they could just get away for a moment, be in their zone. If you want to listen to sad R&B songs, that helps you relieve the stress. Cool, if you need to listen to the opposite, do that. Music is, is just a great stress reliever, in my opinion. You know what they say is the best stress relief. You know, girl. Mm. Say the best stress relief is some good, long pillows so you can take a nap, nigga. You ever go night night, nigga? You ever go night night? Nah, but seriously, some sleep is how I relieve stress. Or some pussy. <laughs> I would say, first of all, know the trends and know what's popular. But then after that, like add your own flair to it. Like be your own unique self. You don't have to fit in. You know, do what you think is dope. And and I think people appreciate uniqueness and individuality. You know, just just go with what makes you happy and what moves you in at the moment. You know. Shit, I just throw on a tank top, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I could show off these these stretch marks. So you know when I'm on my first date and shit, the bitch will be like, damn, he likes to stretch his imagination on a date. Cause he's like creative and shit. That don't even make no sense. Nigga. That didn't make no sense. Don't laugh. That shit ain't fun. Don't, don't laugh. I would say it's best to know the type of person you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a real straightforward, blunt person, they respond best to people who are straightforward and blunt with them. If you have a friend who you know is real sensitive and gets their feelings hurt easily and you care about them, then you should definitely have a little more filter. Well, you know me personally, like, I don't really have like a filter and shit. Like, what the fuck I look like to you, nigga? Do I look like Arrowhead Water or Brita Water, motherfucker? Like, I don't have filter. I say what the fuck I want to say. Nah, but like, for real though, if you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings and you just, you gotta keep them inside. It's like, you know, like a little kid at the dark, you need to keep them in, indoors and shit, nigga. Like, you gotta keep them inside. Like, that don't really make no sense. The best way to deal with stress in high school is try to make everything as compact as possible. Don't think about getting through the whole year and don't think about lifelong friendships. Just think about the homework you have due today. Think about the football game you have this weekend. Think about the friends that you have right now and how you can stay loyal to them and just become better friends with them. Keep everything nice and compact and don't let anything build up and become bigger than what it is and you'll get through. Uh by being popular, duh. Nah, but for real though, you just you just gotta like stay focused and know that like there's only four years to go. It's kind of like being the president and shit. Like you know there's four years left, and then after those four years, you might get another four years, and that's like college. But like to the president, that would be like his second term. But like the president is like even more stressful. Because like he had to deal with like wars and shit. You gotta deal with like mental wars or like other bitches talking shit about you and shit. But like fuck bitches, you know what I'm saying? Like bitches is like like motherfucking North Korea and shit. And you, you you the motherfucking president. You the president. As long as you see high school as like being the president. Then you good, nigga. What's up, y'all? I hope you enjoyed that video because I really had to put myself on the line because I know I'm not good at impersonations. We all put our name in a hat and I got Travi and I was like, shit. 
how am I gonna pull this one off? But, you know, this channel is all about, you know, just being laid back and fun. So, you know, hopefully you guys don't judge me too harsh. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you heard me use some phrases that, you know, Travi always uses, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Uh, also, I'm gonna put up a link to my video on my main channel, so go watch that and subscribe. It's the natural, y'all. Peace. Remember, guys, my fans make the world go round, not yours. This is how you be a star. Yeah, right, dude. I beat you up so hard. Stupid. I'll beat you up, like, infinity times. Dude, I, I would beat you up with my muscles hard.